begin tonight with a pretty cool moment from this weekend's NCAA games at the Spokane Arena. It is trending on social media tonight, so let's take a look. Number 13 seed Yale upset number 4 seed Auburn on Friday, but Yale wasn't actually able to bring their own marching band all the way from Connecticut. So the U of I band stepped up to support the underdogs and put on some Yale merchandise. They even learned Yale's fight song and played it so well people didn't even know it until <laughs> after the fact that it wasn't Yale's band. And that is just one of several moments from the Spokane Arena that has a lot of people talking. Number 12 seed Grand Canyon University upset GU rival St. Mary's. They play again tonight against San Diego State. Crime 2's Nathan Hyun is at the Spokane Arena right now covering those viral moments. He talked to the U of I band director and also caught up with some GCU fans. Nathan? Well, Mark and Whitney, it's so much fun out here. The first game of the second round is going on right now in the arena. But before we get to the U of I band, I also learned Grand Canyon University flew up their students to Spokane for this weekend's games. Now, most schools usually allocate their tournament tickets for alumni and donors, but not Grand Canyon University. It's all about the students for them. The university flew up 200 students to Spokane for the team's NCAA tournament appearance, in a charter jet for that matter. When the student section organization, which is called the opened up sign-ups for students to get this opportunity. More than 1,500 students signed up. The Havocs helped lead the team to an upset win over St. Mary's on Friday. And one of the spirit leaders hoped the similar student section can lead the, student, lead the team to a similar outcome today. I think we have a great impact on the game. And uh, even, you know, the players say it. I mean, Alabama were playing them today. And, you know, news broke that some of their players said they were scared, you know, of the big crowd. And so uh, I think we'll have a great impact on the game. And hopefully it brings out a Lopes win. Seems as though it was a pretty close game in there, but that's not the only cool story coming out of this tournament. The University of Idaho band is stepping in for the Yale band since the Bulldogs band couldn't make it. The band's director says it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and he can't wait to get Yale another win. Excited to get to do this for our university and for Yale and for our students and for their students. And honestly, our goal is we want to do everything we can to have Yale win. So stay with us on Creme 2. I'm hearing that the University of Idaho band is showing up to the arena any moment. We'll get some footage of that, talk to some people, and hopefully get you guys that in the next hour. Live in Spokane, Nathan Hyun, Creme 2 News.